What's going on guys, it's your boy The Box and Lowdown and I'm back here with another video. Now as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Feel free to drop a comment if you like and I'll happily get back to you. Now let's talk about it. Dimitri Bivol was in action this weekend outclassing Umar Salamov to win a 12 round points decision and retain his uh, WBA light heavyweight championship. <sighs> Where do I start with Dimitri Bivol, man? Uh, I was messaging Laurie. Those of you guys that watch the podcast, you'll know where I'm going with this video. And um, yeah, it was a very clinical. Listen, Dimitri Bivol is a very good technical fighter, man. He, he does everything right in terms of his technical ability. He's got a fantastic jab. He, he punches, his fundamentals are brilliant. Do you know what I mean? There's no arguing the, the, the skill set of Dimitri Bivol. But I'm really bored of the light heavyweight division. Did Well, not the light heavyweight division, but I'm really bored of the two guys at the top. And that is Dimitri Bivol and Artur Baturbiev. These two guys, man, I need to see more. Especially Dimitri Bivol. Not really much Baturbiev, but Bivol for sure. This fight here against Salomov, he had his opponent going. He could have really just stepped up the gears and taken him out of there. He chose not to. Uh, it was a, a pretty, you know, monotone 12 round decision points win. Uh, nothing for you to really get up out of your seat and be excited about. You know, when you've got an opponent at your mercy, like B Bivol did on Saturday night, you kind of want them to just get them out of there, take the guy out or do something. Do you know what I mean? Salomov was not going to win that fight. He wasn't going to win it. We knew that pretty much from the first few rounds how the pattern of the fight was going to go. And um, listen, that fight there was on the same time as um, I think it was Lundy and uh, Robbie Davis Jr. I ended up switching it before the fight was over because I knew exactly what was going to happen. Just a shutout win for Dimitri Bivol. But, you know, I I'm just disappointed because I would have liked to have seen him do more. Um, he's not calling for the big fights. You know what I mean? He's not really doing anything to get anybody going. Do you know what I'm saying? Like he's kind of just letting these days go by him and I don't know where Bivol is going from here. Like who's he gonna fight next? Is he gonna, did he call out Baturbiev in the post fight interview? Probably not. And the question is why? Why not? These two guys have been at the top of their division for a long time now and weirdly enough, none of them have called each other out or they haven't really addressed it like that. I'm not really seeing them really go for each other saying like, yeah, I wanna fight him. Both of them are Russian, do you know what I mean? Like, it would make sense for these two to fight, Baturbiev and Bivol. But it appears that they're just sitting around waiting for a Canelo payday, fighting these obscure fights like this one here on Saturday night uh, in Russia. It's just really, people are bored. And the reaction on Twitter said it all. I mean, I was looking at the tweets and everybody acknowledges, listen, that Bivol is a great fighter. It looks very good, technically sound, proficient, punches very well, do you know what I mean? Very conservative in his punches, doesn't waste too much. Um, you know, great fundamentals, superb skill set. He's got it. There's no doubt about it. I'm not diminishing his his talent, but in terms of just Bivol as the fighter and where he's going, uh, the personality, like what you're gonna do, like you had your opponent going, you never took him out of there. Uh, where what is gonna happen next with this guy, man? Um, a lot of people are bored. I'm not gonna lie. And before anybody comes here and says I'm a casual or anything like that, listen, I've been watching boxing for the last 15, 20 years. I know what I'm looking at. And uh, with Bivol to me, I just wanna know where he's going. What's his ambition? Where does he, does he wanna unify the titles? Does he wanna move up in weight and become a two weight world champion? What does he actually wanna do? Like, where is he going? The story's getting a bit dragged on for me now. I'm getting a bit bored. Same with Baturbiev. I wanna see these guys start fighting each other now. Um, Bivol and Baturbiev in particular, I don't understand why these two guys haven't called each other out. I wanna see one of them call each other out for 2022. The fight shouldn't be difficult to make, I don't think. And uh, yeah, I'm just curious as to why we're no closer to that. Do you know what I mean? Uh, the, you don't really hear much from him or Baturbiev. They don't fight often enough. And yeah, the story is getting a bit boring. I'm not gonna lie to you. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Uh, drop your thoughts and who do you think Bivol will fight next? And uh, yeah, let me know, man, because the story at the moment is just dragging on and I wanna see something happen. Let me know in the comment section below, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video.